From now on, we will discuss about descriptive statistics. The first one is frequency distribution and their graphs. A frequency distribution is a table that shows classes or intervals of data entries with a count of the number of entries in each class. The frequency f of a class is the number of data entries in the class. Constructing a frequency distribution from a data set. The following sample data set lists the number of minutes 50 internet subscribers spend on the internet during their most recent session. Construct a frequency distribution that has seven classes. In order to creating this, uh, this uh, frequency distribution table with seven classes, we need to find the several data value first. The first one, you need to find the minimum value. When you look at this table set, the minimum value looks like 4. 4 is here, right? And the maximum is 86. So 86 is right here, right? So now we need to create uh, 7 classes frequency distribution table. So, you need to find out class range. So, this is how you find class range here. So, maximum or minus minimum over number of classes. So, this time maximum is 86 and the minimum 4 and we're going to create uh, 7 different classes. So you calculate 86 minus 4 over 7. If you calculate then, you will get 11.714, something like that, right? Okay. Now, whenever we are determining class range, we always rounding up. So this value going to 12. So please be careful. Even though your calculation come out 11.2, still rounding up. And even though you got exactly 11, still rounding up. The reason is we want to make a wide enough space for entire data set, even though potentially we will have empty classes. Okay, therefore, no matter what, we round up. This is a really important concept. So, one more time. Deciding class range. You calculate maximum minus minimum over number of classes. Whatever you get, you always round up. If you get whole number, still round up. So, take next number. Now, the second step, you start from minimum value on first class here, so which is 4. Now, determining next class lower boundary value, you, com you add this value, 12, okay? So, you combine 12, then become 16. Now, 12 again, which is 28, the next become 40, next become 52, and 64, and 76. Okay, so they are all our lower limit value. Then now, the upper limit value of each class, which is always one value below compared to next class lower limit value. Since second class lower limit value is 16, so 
up, uh, first class upper limit value must and 15 okay then second class upper limit value must be 27 because third class step from 28 now then this become 39 and 51 and 63 and 75 and now finding the last class upper limit you combine 12 here the reason is if interval between two lower limit is 12 then interval between two upper limit also 12 as well so this become 87 good so next part you want to find all the data set value here okay so let me show some few data set and then i'm going to show the summary later so the first one is 50 so 50 is here and 40 is here 41 17 11 like that you know what i'm doing right yeah so please complete this data set and then uh restarting this video please if you finish this table on the frequency column then you will get first class 4 data second class 8 third class 14 fourth class 8 fifth class 8 sixth class 4 and seventh class 4 data uh, belong belonged okay then now the how to find the midpoint midpoint is the average between lower limit and upper limit which means you combine these two value and divide by two okay so if you find the first class midpoint so 4 plus 15 divided by 2 that will be 9.5 okay so please pause this um, video again and try to find all different classes midpoint and come back to this video if you find midpoint correctly then you will have the same value as I have okay the next column the relative frequency which means percentage value so uh, it implies you make division each frequency divided by total frequency so the first class the relative frequency will be 4 divided by 50 if you make division 4 over 50 they come out 0 0.08 the same way you just make 8 divided by 50 and 14 divided by 50 like that and please pause this video again and after calculate all the relative uh, frequency and come back to this video please after you calculate all the relative frequency you will get these values okay the last one and now if you combine all, all the relative frequency the sum must be equal to 1 the last column uh, cumulative frequency which means you accumulate frequency value as you see the first column and first blank class is only 4 but now second class the second class case we have these two value right therefore total frequency become 12 here now the third class then is around three different frequency values so you combine 4 plus 8 plus 14 then you will get 26 and same way you, you keep on calculating calculating it you will get 34 42 and 46 and 50 so the last row last class 
uh, cumulative frequency must be equal to total frequency.